versus guys that have up to this point, especially considering who is, who is on the other side? It was a good game. You know, the pitchers uh, really attacked, really good conviction, uh, great performance by Luke, um, great performance by Griffin. I uh, thought the concentration level on defense was high. Obviously, the first four innings of the game were eliminated defensively because we struck everybody out. But uh, really good high-level defense at the end of the game. You know, outstanding uh, pitcher fielding by Griffin. So really like the defensive effort tonight. And um, you know, it's important. I mean, they, they are dangerous lineups. So you don't want to give any free bases. You know, offensively, I like those games where we score some runs against good pitching where it's not just a home run. And so you got uh, free bases mixed in there. You got really good two out hitting, Pearson, Fry, Bingham. And then I thought um, that inning was a big deal where you know you get the bases loaded walk by Michael. Really good discipline not to swing at the 3-1 and hit to enjoyable play, even though it was a strike, and then take the walk. And then uh, Paxton, you know, big at bat there with the sacrifice fly. I think a lot of guys played winning baseball tonight would be the way I would answer that question. It, uh, I mean, Fry it really looked like he put together four really good at-bats tonight. Just him taking advantage of the opportunity now, he's, I guess, he's a little healthier. He's healthier, you know. Um, we're trying to get him back at full capacity. Um, I want to play him. Like, he was on the verge of playing a lot until he slid and, you know, whatever, subluxed. His, his shoulder. So um, I, I've told you guys, you know, for a better part of a long time, I really believe in him. We have a good team. So, I mean, just the attitude piece, the work piece, and the talent is pretty good. And so I want to get him out there, and I'm excited to continue to get him out there. What do you like about him when, against lefties in particular, and, you know, left in the lineups today? You know, um, in preseason practice, we have obviously 10 of them. So I like that he got a lot of looks against a lot of high level guys. And you could start to see what he was putting together, you know, whether that be, you know, off of Griffin Herring or, you know, Ackenhausen or Jake Brown or any, you know, of those 10 guys. And um, he's a good hitter, period. But, um, you know, uh, I like I like the bats he's putting together. And obviously we, we could have pinch hit him in the last one and there, there's no way he's seeing the ball good. and. He's under control of himself, you know. Um, so, really like what Ethan's doing. So, we're sticking with Ethan. Um, when he hit that ball that was nearly a homer out there, was did Hayden just slightly miss? Well, the, the ball play or? the play is to go back and tag with no outs until yeah. you know. I don't know if he didn't see it. I mean, I thought it was clearly a no catch. Um, he's he's not the best pitcher on the team. Like I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but. He, he took a couple good at-bats tonight, and, um, you know, it's uh, – yeah, I, he originally did the right thing. I yeah. think he could have moved off of it was going to be a no-catch earlier. I don't know why he didn't. Yeah, speak, yeah. Speaking of that at-bat, uh, it was a 2-1 count at that point. I think he drew up – I mean, he squared up the bunt uh, on, like, one of the first few pitches. Is that kind of what you drew up? You wanted them to give him something good to hit? Well, we had a walk. We had a hit by pitch with Pearson. Um, it was um, – he wasn't commanding the ball. I, I felt like, you know, we needed to see if he was even going to be able to get back in the zone. So you, you like having guys sort of squaring around and sort of freaking them out a little bit? With the no, it's the not to freak them out. It's just like sometimes like, okay, the guy's pitched himself into trouble. How can you, how can you let him off the hook is try to be over-aggressive and maybe swing at a pitch that he wants you to hit on a ground. It's a double play ball. Now all that momentum you've built is gone. So it's sometimes it's just saving the hitter from themselves a little bit. Um, you know, so that, that would be how I would answer that. Luke, uh, Luke really seemed to do his thing for six innings. He did. The three innings from Griffin really kind of like saved you guys. Huge. Yeah, he, he's great. I mean, I have so much faith in him. And this is like a developmental thing, even though we're trying to win every game that we play. Um, he obviously had huge success in the regional and the College World Series last year. Pitched at the end of games on Friday very similarly to what he did last night, you know, after skiing. So I thought he'd just be – the stadium was beautiful tonight. I mean, that, you know, I'm thank, thankful that they all showed up. Um, I just knew he would be able to handle himself in that environment. And he's just improving because, like, there was a couple where maybe the count was about to get away with him or it got to 3-2 and he made the pitch. It's that type of composure 
is what I was counting on tonight. I think this slider was really like, it's good really tonight. Good yeah, it was but good tonight. What makes that pitch so good? He's confident. Um, he's just confident, you know, and it's just you know, confidence is so key because it it gets you through the setbacks. And you know, maybe at a outing in uh, Houston that wasn't maybe his best, but you knew he was going to bounce back. And um, he has confidence in that pitch. He throws it with conviction. You know, I. I think I've told this story before, like in Omaha last year against Wake, he's like, hey, man, go tell coach, like, three sliders in a row, and this guy will be out. <laughs> and one, two, three, and he was out. I was like, that's good. I mean, after he's a major league pitcher, he might have a future as a pitching coach someday. With Luke Holman, um, what, what, was, what do you think was the biggest difference between his last start and, and this one? Uh, I think this is what the story is, you know, uh, accountability. And what I mean by that is he's been unbelievable, like video game unbelievable, I mean, I think. And so the bar is so high for everybody around, but it's high for him too. And so Saturday, last Saturday, I talked to him. He was getting some treatment at Mississippi State. And before I could say anything, all he just said is, I'll be better next week. And when you have a guy with talent that has the skill that he does that – is convicted like that, I was just like, this one's going to be good. And um, boy, did he execute. I mean, they, they, they were not on him at all. Yeah, and he was throwing a lot of, a lot of high fastballs, a lot of sliders. Um, and high fastballs is obviously something that Ty Floyd did extremely well against Florida in that game one. Um, it, it was that just something that you guys needed to win tonight? Just to get you know, I think, I think he – I just – yeah, I just think he's an excellent pitcher. Like, he throws the ball – where he wants to all the time. And, um, you know, he, he actually sprayed the ball a little bit. I mean, it was amazing. Like, he got through six innings with the amount of strikeouts he was piling up and then walking a few guys. That just tells you how good he is. And so, again, like, my answer to that is he throws the ball where he wants to when he wants to. And maybe that was the difference tonight, where maybe we had bigger misses last week. So they were able to get some swings off. He put it where he wanted to tonight. Do you think that was kind of – well, I mean, he's, he's got great deception, and he's got great pitchability. I've said this before. He's really hard to plan against. He's really, really hard to plan against because he does so many things well. I mean, he is a classic pitcher. You know, he throws harder than Greg Maddox, you know, but there you go. You know. How do you guys stay clean with Carlos that you have? Carlos, how you doing, man? Good to see you. How do you, how do you see him progress over the years? Uh, he's – I don't. I can't speak for over the years, other than I know he hit over 30 homers last year. I know even in um, uh, Charles Schwab, it was big last year. I mean, he's in scoring position when he steps in the box. Um, you know, it's just, and he's hot right now. Like, if you go back and look at the last five games, like that's what a that's what a top pick in the draft looks like. You know, that's a massive like di difference making. Power, impact, um, you got to be good. And, and luckily, at the end of the game, we were, we were good tonight in terms of how we executed. So he didn't mind necessarily, you know, walking him and, and hitting him the first at bat. He walked him a little bit later because of, again, he's only his first at bat. He's not, he's not pitching well yet. Yeah, he's, he's, I'm glad the Phillies will be getting him out next year and not, not the LSU Tigers. You know, <laughs> so. Yeah, great at bats. He did not have two good ones at the beginning, but those were huge. I think, uh, you know, I just with runners in scoring position, the most important thing is just to slow down. And I mean, he's still a young player. Like that's a big time environment tonight. Like outside of Omaha, that's as good as it gets. There's just nothing better than that. Um, it was mainly just to slow down, and I just really wanted him simplified in what he was doing and what he was looking for, and he did it. And he's really strong, and his, the ball wasn't really going to left field tonight. Um, if it was a normal night, that's that's at U High's field. Um, it was a really good swing by him. At the plate, it seemed like you guys were like pretty patient. Um, but as you got to the fourth inning, it seemed like you guys were shooting early, early. What was the plan to come in, especially against a guy like your pitcher? He's really good. I mean, he, he throws the ball at the bottom rail really well, and it, he's away from the hitter's eyes a lot. Um, 
you know, I thought we did a great job in the first inning of setting the table. And then, you know, Josh, that's what Josh does. He takes professional at bats and shoots the ball the other way. Ethan got a mistake, hit it hard and low. Like I said, I mean, you, you could have hit it four times and it wasn't going out the left field early in the game. Um, so I thought that was great. And then I think we got a little unlucky. It was like the third inning. And, I mean, Jared and Hayden, like you want those guys to swing. Like there's a lot of players, like they have more value when they don't swing. Like as crazy as that sounds, those guys, we, we do want them to swing the bat. And I mean, they smashed two balls right to the right fielder and then one to the center fielder up against the wall. And you just, you got to kind of live with that. Um, I didn't think we threw a lot away. I, I, I don't think we threw a lot away. He's a good pitcher and um, he's hard to square up. And, you know, like I said, it was going to be hard to get into power tonight to the left field. You think that home run, it, unfortunately, you hit it now. Um, the one hit that only gave up two hits, that was that helped out part of the way? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was two different, two different ballparks tonight. I know we talked about this on Thursday, but it seems like every time you're doing that corner route, it seems like you're getting into zone, so you know that one's going to turn on you. Yeah, big time. Um, how do you think Ethan Thompson has gone from this to this next year? He's worked his tail off. Um, it's been an effort. It's been a massive. It's like a two-year effort. And, I mean, we put in so much work last year uh, on the field stuff. And then, I mean, the injury, I just – he did a really good job with his body. Like, he can really move laterally. And he's doing a great job of picking the right hop, and he catches every ball at the lowest point or the highest point. You never see him getting caught in the middle. And uh, he's excellent, um, excellent at that. And then the arm is healthy. You know what I mean? He's, it was an invasive <laughs> – surgery like it took some time and we did it right we did not rush it um and it's it's great and i've always thought he had, had a pretty good arm and uh he's been outstanding who on the staff who on the staff has worked with him pretty closely when it comes to some of these defensive things uh you know i think uh the positioning part of it anticipating part of it that's all of us you know what i mean and um, it, it, all the credit goes to him like, all the credit goes to him with the amount of time that he's put in. I would credit, you know, Coach McMillan with keeping his body in shape. Like I said, I was joking, but Alex Malazzo getting good food on the grill, you know, from, you know, surgery time until the season started. Um, it's all Tommy. Is, he the, is Alex the only good cook? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. You guys can, yeah. I, mean, I don't make a habit of going over to their apartments and hanging out. They can come over to my house, but not the other way around. So. <laughs> Cool. All right. Thank you, Coach.